After months of comprehensive ground and T-33 testing, the first air vehicle is deemed ready for its much anticipated first flight. The flight test must prove not only vehicle airworthiness, but also that the command and control link between the aircraft and the mission control station is reliable. Feels yep. <laughs> yeah, apparently they reset uh, like a barrel setting or something like that over May there. May 22nd, 2002. The sun slowly rises over Rogers Dry Lake. It is an auspicious morning that marks the first demonstration of the UCAV system. The flight will be commanded from the mission control console in the on-site mission control station trailer. This console will provide the operator with the decision aids and situation awareness necessary to control the UCAV. Though only one air vehicle will be tested today, the mission control console is designed to control up to four drones simultaneously. Take off on my mark. Ready, ready, mark. Take off command issued. Crow mix is in. Throttle up. Fifty knots. One hundred twenty knots. She's off. NASA 852, standby right turn. Right to. And Stingray 1, I'm showing 1, 9, or 7 knots, 7,540 feet. Stingray 1. Lineup is good, aim point is good. The day is a complete success. In the 14-minute flight, the X-45A reaches an airspeed of 195 knots and an altitude of 7,500 feet. It is a significant jump in the maturing of the program's innovative technologies. The flight marks the beginning of what will be a nine-month-long flight demonstration system checkout. After months of meticulous planning, the team is ready for flight. It is the first ever multi-vehicle demonstration by a single operator and a must-need achievement for the program. Command, you can go, Stingray 1. Commanding go, Stingray 2. The air vehicles must maintain formation relative to a simulated third aircraft that is to be their virtual lead. Air for three, uh, release brakes now. Take off command, it's Stingway 1. Our Stingray 01 is airborne. Take off command at Stingray 2. Edwards Tower, Stingray 02 is airborne. The vehicles join up at 15,000 feet. With over a mile of lateral separation, they autonomously maneuver to preserve their configuration. Engaging formation, maneuver.
Edwards Tower, Stingray 01, inbound landing, lake bed 23 right. And Edwards Tower, Stingray 02 is final approach, 23 right.